What's up YouTube? The Bearded Outdoorsman, your guide to all things gear and beards. Today we're going to take a look at a mess kit by Survival Frog, so stay tuned. Okay guys, if you are new to my channel, I am the Bearded Outdoorsman, your guide to all things gear and beards. I do hiking videos, gear reviews, tutorials, some beard product reviews. Today we're gonna take a look at a mess kit by Survival Frog. Now, this mess kit does come in a ripstop nylon, bright green bag. All right, so in the bag, all cinched up, you do have a little bit extra space you can add some more items to. So, We'll go through this and break it down and I'll show you each and everything in here. So we'll start with the pot. So you have a stainless steel pot. According to their website, it is SUS201 stainless steel. It does have the collapsible handles that are silicone coated and there are markings on the inside. That's four, eight, 12, 16 ounces, 122, 40, 360 and 480 milliliters. So lightweight pot but i think it's pretty good for what it is um not too bad now one downfall with this kit is it does not have a lid to this pot now you could makeshift something or um however you want to do it if it's a deal breaker i'm sorry please continue watching and see what else comes in it but uh but yeah no lid for the pot next we have the eating tool by crkt this is a spork that has some wrenches on the top. It does come with a carabiner that you can hang it, a bottle opener here, screwdriver here. Uh, so nice little spork, metal. This kit all in all is 1.06 pounds. That is as is how it ships. It's 1.06 pounds. I weighed it personally. I did not take the advice of websites and all that kind of stuff. So. The next thing you get is a P38 can opener, basic, basic uh, can opener there. Waterproof matches. You get 20 waterproof matches with the striker here. Another downfall, this, I wish it would have been a screw top. It's not a screw top, it just pops on. Uh, so we'll test, I'm not really gonna worry about testing this for waterproof. We all know it's probably not gonna be waterproof. But what I'll do is I'll test one of these matches. We'll dip it in some water, get it good and wet, and then we'll see if we can get it to strike. But uh, yeah, you get 20 of these and a striker that's glued already to the side. And again, this is bright orange. If you were out on the trail, out in the woods, and you dropped it, it would not be hard to spot to relocate it. And lastly, in the kit, you have a solo stove, ESPIT style folding camp stove and it comes with 24 fuel tabs if i can hold on to them 24 fuel tabs come in this and you get your folding everybody's seen one now with this kit you can't use it this way because the pot's not quite big enough so you have to fold it in just a touch which i like this method better anyway because it is going to redirect that heat uh, from your fuel tab up uh, flowing in that angle better to your pot so it's going to get you a little better heat you won't lose as much as if you were up in this mode so again you get 24 fuel tabs and if you carry all fuel tabs my weight 1.06 pounds that came in with this entire kit as is in the mess kit or in the bag in the mesh bag excuse me the ripstop bag but there's your uh, there's your stove. Now, I did a little bit of price checking on on two of these items. Your can opener ranges about five bucks on Amazon, and you can get those in larger packs. But single packs, it was like five bucks. You can get larger packs, save a little bit of money. 
and with the CRKT that was running about five dollars on Amazon I saw a couple that were a little bit pricier a little bit more than that but this just the basic one was about five bucks now it all fits nicely in the pot all in there and goes in your mesh bag now for me personally this what I see when I see this kit I think of an emergency bag um, maybe like a bug out bag style not really camping material not really hiking material but something to use as a survival situation something to throw in maybe my truck bag so if I needed to get out of my truck and get into the woods I'd have a way to at least maybe open a can of food or heat up some water that kind of thing so and have fire I've got 20 waterproof matches in here so it would be good for that personally that's all I think it's good for it when I went at the time of filming this video, looked on Survival Frog's website, they are actually sold out at this very moment and it does not give their price. I picked it up on Amazon because the way it works is not uh, Amazon Prime. You order it on Amazon, it ships from Survival Frog. So because Survival Frog is sold out, Amazon says it's unavailable. I paid 27, roughly $27 on Amazon. Uh, couple months ago when I bought it just haven't had a chance to do a review on it and here's the question that we're gonna ask today have you do you know of another mess kit that comes in at $27 or less that's gonna have this kind of material this kind of items that you can use um, are better for that price I think for the money it's a good kit I think it's a, a jam up kit for the price for 27 bucks what you pay for is what you get uh, like I said, it wouldn't be hard to kind of mod something for a lid and fit it in that bag. It'll fit. All right, guys. Well, we're going to test the matches and see how waterproof they are. But we're going to do that inside because of how windy it is outside. So let's check it out. Alright guys, well there you have it. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. And I will put links in the description below for both Amazon and Survival Frog. So you can check those out. You can purchase it from either one. Um, and as always, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.